Hi everybody, Dave Wallace, Bay Ridge Consulting Group, talking to you today about public speaking. You know, public speaking, the fear of public speaking is real. It actually has a technical term, it's called glossophobia. And it's reported that 75% of the people out there suffer from glossophobia. And it's real. It can bring the most confident person to their knees and just paralyze them in front of an audience. Now, there are lots of books and there are lots of tips and techniques about how to overcome your fear of public speaking. I don't really want to address those today other than to talk to you about a presentation approach that might help you feel more comfortable when you're presenting and might allow you to kind of make those sweaty palms a little bit less sweaty. So tell me if this sounds familiar. You're in a presentation and someone in the audience, perhaps it's a key decision maker or a key influencer, and they ask a question that takes the presenter out of their sequence. Now the presenter wants to honor the question, so they stop the presentation, they exit presentation mode, and they start looking through their slides to find the right slide that's going to address that, present, that, that question. The problem is, is when this happens, the technology and the activity of the presenter moving around in their presentation becomes the focus of the audience out come the smartphones and the next thing you know the presenter has lost their audience. Or another thing that happens is the question is asked and the presenter treats the question the way an aggressive driver treats a yellow light. They punch it to get through before the light turns red and the presenter basically just punches through the question and keeps on going. Now what happens to the person who asked the question? Bluntly, it pisses them off and they check out maybe not physically but emotionally they may be gone from the presentation and you've lost them no good you know what's interesting is when we talk to people conversationally this doesn't happen if a question comes up that's not specifically in the sequence that we thought we're able to just flow with the question and take the conversation in a new direction and very often it results in a more productive conversation. Why does this not happen when we're presenting? Well, slides are sequential, and we set them up in the order that we think is going to be the most effective. But the reality is, is rarely does our audience think the way that we think. So what if there was a tool that would allow you to seamlessly and dynamically adjust your presentation if the desires of the audience drove it in that direction. Wait a minute, you say. I'm the presenter. I'm in charge. I own the room. That's not the way it works. In sales, the presenter is king. Well, not in 2018 anymore. If that's the way you think, you're going to struggle and you're not going to be as effective because your audience doesn't care about your sequence. They don't care about your cool animations. All they care about is whether or not you're going to make them successful. And you want them to think that you can do just that. Conversational presenting is the new way. It changes the tone of the presentation from a lecture to a two-way street. The leading tool in this space is called Prezi. And if you're familiar with Prezi, great. If you're not, I suggest that you get familiar with it. A recent study from Harvard Research showed the following, frankly, stunning uh, statistics. Prezi is 16% more engaging than PowerPoint, 12.5% more organized, 25% more effective, and 22% more persuasive than PowerPoint. And as a matter of fact, the research found that PowerPoint's actually no better than a verbal conversation with no visual aids. So if you're just going to stick with PowerPoint, then I say why spend the time creating the slides because you're going to be just as effective if you just talk to your audience and you're going to save all that time from creating the slides. But if you want a more effective presentation and perhaps one that takes a little bit of the edge off and calms those sweaty palms a little bit, give Prezi a try. I think you'll be glad you did. If you want to learn more about this topic or other sales-related topics, contact Bay Ridge Consulting Group. Thanks again for your time.